Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna play Ikemen Villains. It's good to make a new video about games and this time I'm gonna play Ikemen Villains because I just find out that Ikemen Villains have English translation, like English edition official from Cybert. And yeah, I'm curious about it. So let's go. Um, before I start, I just wanna say that I know Ikemen Villains since last year uh, because I know other cyber uh, installments such as Ikemen Prince and Ikemen Genji Den and also Ikemen Sengoku. Ikemen Sengoku is my first... actually no. Actually Ikemen Vampire is my first exposure with uh, cyber Ikemen series and Ikemen Villains if I'm not mistaken in if I'm not mistaken sorry is the for is the latest installment of Ikemen series I mean the game with name Ikemen on it um, the, uh, but it's not the latest release the latest release one is Koi Hana Baku Meiroku. I remember Koi Hana Baku Meiroku is announced first and then they announced Ikemen Villains but Koi Hana Baku Meiroku is like having a more ads than Ikemen Villains so during Koi Hana Baku Meiroku um, advertisement days <laughs> They released Ikemen Villains first, but then I remember Koihana Baku Meiroku is actually a collaboration between Cybert and Animate, but so yeah. Sorry for the useless trivia. Anyway, alright, let's get started. Um, alright, let's go. Ikemen series. Koshin. This game is pretended for a major audience, of course. Wait, let me just use my headphone here because I actually record my um, gameplay and my voice over in a different <laughs> method. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no. Let's get started. I hope there's no. I hope I do not need to download anything. Okay. Welcome to the crown. Please type your name below. Name Kate. You will call with this name by your villains and other players. Huh. I think I'm going to change my name as. Actually, I like Kate, but I'm going to name myself Victoria. Because I have already no character named Victoria, but it was a long time ago. Yeah, little story short. All right, let's go continue. May I call you by this name, Victoria? Come on, then. Your cursed fairy tale starts now. Oh, that was a nice design. I love it. Sorry, I need to. All right. If life was a fairy tale, getting your happy ending would be a simple. It will be all fine, just as long as you don't do bad things. Don't go into a forbidden forest. Don't open doors you shouldn't. Don't seek out dangerous secrets. Simply put, just follow the rules and don't get into trouble. And your happy ending will be just around the corner. These are my deliverers for today. Uh, for the day, right? Thanks for shorting the mails for me. Oh, is that love letter I see on top? Make sure that it gets right place, Victoria. Of course, I will. I always do. Even if you're seeing love letters, it's rather bittersweet. Aww! <laughs> Well, I'm off. I took a bundle of letters into my delivery bag and opened a post office door. London, England was prospering during the reign of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. Oh yeah, I remember it was a set in, in England. Yeah, I, re I just remember that. <laughs> 
immigrants, worker, industri industrialists, and noble are crowded together in the city. Everyone has their own hopes and dreams, their own, joy, their own joys and sorrows as we live our lives. Alright, time to make my first delivery of the day. I work as a letter carrier or Robin, as they like to call us because of our red uniforms. And today, just like any other, I'm just gonna try my British accent here. Alright, so we are Robins, a, a mail deliver. Phew, I'm exhausted. As I deliver my letters one by one, the gas lamp all around the city begins to flicker on. Two more houses left and I'm done. Let's see what's the next address. Suddenly, a strong gust of wind blew up, stealing the envelope right off of my hands. Oh no, that's bad. The breeze carried the letter straight towards a dim alleyway. I need that letter. I raced after the runway letter as it is swirling around and round in the air until it finally came out to top. Right! Oh, yeah. I forgot his name, but he is the poster boy of this game, right? Right at the feet of the man who appeared from the alleyway, his silver hair gleaming brightly even in the twilight. Oh, thank goodness. Pardon me, that's mine. Oh. I rest over the top of the man who kindly stooped down to pick up the letter for me. Dozo, lady. Oh. Oh yeah, there's voice. I remember he was voiced by Shinosuke Tachibana. I don't remember his name, but I remember his voice actor. And I also remember, like, who is his character is. <laughs> All he did was offer me the letter, but I was captivated by both his otherworldly beautiful and elegance of his movement. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Wait, his eyes are bright red, almost like blood. <laughs> blood. The dark alleyway, his extended palm, his blood red eyes, all of it together threatening to sweep me away from somewhere other than reality. Somewhere dark, forbidden, thrilling. Haitatsu ken su wa nokori ni ken ka? Eh? Huh? Pardon? <laughs> His voice snapped at me back to reality, the noise of London hustle and Brussel rushing back it all at once. I apologize, sir. I got lost in my thought. Isong to i, jiki hi ga kureru. He murmured softly as he brushed past at me, then he disappeared into the crowd of people. The faint sweet sense of roses linger in the air as his walk away, and for some reason it made my heart pounce. Matasetana, Red Victor. Eye Man. Oh! Oh yeah, I remember there's a good guy named Victor here. Kimi ni nara nanjikan matasarete mo shiyawase da yo. Oya? なんかいいことでもあったのかいああ。素敵な声で歌いそうな可愛い小鳥がいた。あへえ。君が興味を抱く人物なら僕も気になるな。へえ。What a mysterious man. And how did he know how many letters that I have left to deliver? He was dressed like a noble, so I doubt he, we will ever cross paths again. The thought filled me with a mixture of relief and disappointment as I walked through town. The reason I chose to be a letter carrier was because I love seeing people's excitement. I have no complaint about spending my days delivering happiness to other. In fact, I thought it was quite suit me. But sometimes, just sometimes, I imagine what my life could be if I stepped out of my little world. But you know what they said, the grass is always greener. Oh well, at least I was be able to deliver all my meals today. I am encouraged myself, shrugging off the little bouts of wistfulness. A uh, wistfulness, yeah, I think so. Wait! Huh? Oh, it's not, that's not me, that's not me. Oh, no! 
we are in the we are finished the first one so we're gonna go select the villain wait i want to check this out oh we cannot choose the villain all right let's go to the second part Wait! Huh? Up ahead of me, a young girl was en engaged in scuffle with an angry looking man. That hurts! The man twisted the girl's slender arms while in her hands she clutched into a necklace with clean tonight. A thief? He's a jewel. I know his shop. Did, he st did she steal that? How about I break this little arm of yours? Oh, God. A man brandished fire poker. Oh, no. If he hits her with that, he's really gonna break her arm. Even if he just destroyed, still it, that's too much. Stop right there. I broke before I realized what I was doing. Huh? Who in the police are you? What, what was I thinking? Just return what you stole, and we can talk it out. Take that. Ow! Huh? The girl took advantage of the man being distracted by my present, and kicked him hard in, in the sin. Uh, then splintered off. Get back here, you thief! And you just what do you think you, what did what do you think you're doing, lady? Helping a little wretch get out, get away? I'm so sorry. I didn't think she kick him and run, but it was too late to regret getting involved now. You're gonna pay for me with the value of that necklace you stole, ain't you? Yes, of course. I very tearful handed it over my wallet. なるほど。あれは確かに。素敵なコマドリさんだな。So he following us? I really did it this time. From the jailer perspective, that young girl was was a bad person and a thief, nothing more than a criminal. But I just couldn't accept blaming someone who was clearly in dire straits that she felt she felt she had no longer option but to steal. All right, I'm getting understand where this story is going. <laughs> England might be the England might be prospering, but everyone knew that East London was overflowing with people suffering from poverty. I could just stand by and watch him hurt the girl, where he, we have no idea what driven her to steal. Yeah, that's true. But ultimately, what it came down to it, the jealous suffer a loss, and the girl commit a crime. Yeah. I don't know if I was right or wrong, but I won't have much budget for theater this month. That's for certain. Theater? One of the little pressure in my life was saving up some of my pay to go to the theater once a month. I was supposed to save a ticket money from today delivery, but I'll have to miss out this month. Oh, that's too bad. Well, there's no sense in getting down about it now. I will just have my own my way to save up a bit more. Oh, I'm back, Victoria. Perfect timing. Oh wait, it will be it will be too dangerous for you at night. What is it? One of the night shift worker can't make it, so we need someone else to fill in. Night shift delivery. Oh, please let me do it. Oh, honestly, it will be really help us out. The area you'll be delivering is quite safe, but don't stray now, you hear? Leave it to me. And now I can make up for the money I lost today. Even if it's just, even if it's just my first time doing nighttime delivery. Ah. And my first time going to that neighborhood. But if I be careful, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, we're sure you'll be fine, my lady. We're sure about that. This song This song reminds me with one of my old favorite song from Focaloid fandom and I quite like it. もちろんだよ、ビクトル。全員でのニムなんて久しぶりでワクワクするよね。あしゃぎすぎ。調子乗るとすぐ怪我するんだから落ち着けよ。ま、
俺も行かないとダメかなええせっかく素敵な夜ですからターゲットのお屋敷にあなたのお目当てのものがあるかもしれませんしそう分かった行くんならさっさと行かせてもらえますお貴族様連中と違ってこっちは暇やないんやわ今夜は商談も取り立ての予定もないけど<笑>バカ正直に話さんでええねん黙っとけご覧の通りクラウンは準備万端だビクトル<笑>いいね君たちらしく自由で素晴らしいそれじゃ始めようか今宵も君たちの悪に忠誠を OK wicked heart you guys sounds like a like a rep of the youth <laughs> sorry、uh, we gotta go next I might be able to get used to doing this nighttime delivery. This is the last house. I've still been in front of the manor such a grander than even the rest of the fancy house in this neighborhood. Huh? Where's the post box? It was pretty late, so I shouldn't disturb the household. What should I do? A place like this through a missing letter could be a really bad thing. I hesitantly touched the front door and it was over with a slight creak. They didn't lock the door? Wow. Wow. What a high security. That's awful careless. Excuse me? It's the letter carrier. Is anyone home? It's the letter. Oh, it's letter carrier. Is anyone home? Sorry. I slowly stepped inside, just past the door frame, and called into the dark foyer. What does foyer mean? A piano. Is this place haunted? The light sounds someone playing the piano flow from somewhere inside. The night was still silence and still in silence, turning the bright melody area as it echoed through the hall. At the least one person is still awake then, and I shouldn't b e l i e v e the letter in unattended. If some noble complain about the misplaced letter, I will be up out of the job. And then it will be a lot of more than just a theater I'm missing out on. I warily took a step forward. The sound of my shoes clicking against the polished floor i n t e r w i v e with the piano melody. My heart is beating so fast. Maybe I shouldn't be here. I was, I was only doing my job, but. For some reason, I felt like I was making a terrible mistake. I'll just hurry up, deliver the letter, and get out from here. I think the sound is coming from the great hall. I knock on the door, but the piano continues. The busy notes building on each other just like added to my anxiety. Unable to wait any longer, I reach out for the door knob. Pardon me. The fountain of the bridge red liquid spurted out in front of me. Crimson droplets struck into the floor, the sound of it is plushing heartbeat. What's, what's happening? What is this? I looked down on my feet, and that's when I saw him. A man lay dead on the floor. His face twisted in anguish. He held the handle of the knife he plunged into his own neck. Oh my. A c r a f t choked in my throat. Splatter of lukewarm liquid ran down my cheek, and a sinister chill raced through my spine. What is this? Is this real? Kore wa kore wa. Masaka kankyak ga irashita to wa. An insulting voice cut through my panic thought, making me tremble even more. My ass started on a, around an exosily, exosily. And I saw eight shadows darker than h e r They stared quietly at me as I stood there in the pool of faint moonlight. It looked like they were even s e c i z i n g me up, 
are plotting to lure Mia further into their trap. One of the shadowy figures slowly rose from the bench in front of the piano. Nanda, Hiruma at the Komadori Janaka. I. What? As a man stepped into the light, I saw his red eyes. It was the same noble man I meet around. Panic and confusion keep me frozen in a place, and all I can do is stare back at the man. We don't know, Shiri. No, we are not friends. I don't even know him. Crown? His friendly rose color eyes were focusing right on me, gleaming with the curiosity. He looks like he's amused, but how when someone's lying dead on the floor? A man who had cocky aura above him guessed her with his chin towards the body. You were lying. I blur out remembering the warm sensation running down my cheek. There was no faking that. あんたの身のためだったのに。どうする、ウィル。それはもちろん連れて行くべきだろう。いやから鍵閉めとけ言うたやろうが。まさか不法侵入までするとは思わなかった。なかなか悪いことな、ジョージャ。Actually, I'm not trespasser. I'm a Robin. I came here legally. I need to deliver some stuff. It was your fault opening the door. Okay. I'm just delivering the letter. I just don't want to get fired. I need money. You guys open the door. It was your fault. Okay. Sorry. Continue. The moment I heard that man say that, pure unadulter, uh, un unadulter fear raced through my entire body. I, I have to do something. I have to get out of here. I forced my trembling legs to move, stumbling back a few steps, but then I had to say a color as the crimson blood splattered on the floor held me captive. Oide. No! <laughs> Wait, what? As soon as he uttered those words in his sweet voice, my legs start walking. It's like his ability? But why? I can't stop! No! My legs ignore my will as carry me straight in front of the man. Wow. All of a sudden, he grabbed me by the waist and as if he were about to dance waltz with me. He's going to kill me. I squeeze my eyes shut, then I smell fragrance of roses and felt a soft sensation nuzzling my cheek. Huh? Eh? Huh? Oh? The man's smile gently released me from his arm. The blood on my cheek is gone. He wiped it off from me. The power that he compels me drained from my body and all my strength left me with it. My knees going to weak, I crumpled to the floor. Alright. The light of the moon sh shone behind him. Behind him. What is shown? Illuminating his silhouette as he deep into an elegant bow and offered me a hand. William Rex. <laughs> you went to Rex? <laughs> uh. <coughs> Bloodstained fingers. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't read that. Sorry. I can't escape. Why I should? Why can I run? Why won't my body listen? Before I know it, the mysterious men sent me into carriage with them, and we traveled through the night. The London scener scenery has been outside the window. My heart pounded when Oakland lights of even the palace faded from the view. But the carriage continued down in a trail to the dark forest. Where, where are we going? What are going to happen to me? I can't jump out. The car is moving too fast. 
I dropped the final letter back at the mansion, but who knew I would be ever get paid tonight, chef? More importantly, who knew if I could, I would ever survive the night? The fact that they are all headed to the same place means they must be working together. They have been a part of some group criminal, which case of probably bring me to their boss. The men is will call it, call it the Palace Reaper. I'd call it the Palace Reaper. Perhaps that's their code for their leader. Three hours later. So here is my overall first impression of this game. Story-wise, Ikim and Vampire have very strong opening. We not only provide the scene and information of all boys we're going to chase, but also bring some question about the big mystery that will become the main plot of this game. What caught me surprised is, even though the main theme of this game is a film from fairy tale and also magic, this game setting is taking place in the real world, mainly on Victorian era. I actually already prepared that they're probably going to have same fantasy setting as Ikemen Prince, but boy, I was wrong. Even so, I think the setting of this game, which is Victoria era, is a perfect setting for this game. Because as far as I understand, as someone who lived outside America and Europe, fiction that usually set on Victoria era is usually bring out a theme about morality and classism, two main topics that become main theme of this Ikemen game. I never tried to read or even find out why this happened, but as someone who found familiar with Western history outside the fiction, I always see Victoria era is usually portrayed as one of the early turning point in society that greatly influenced modern era. And just like Black Butler, Moriarty the Patriot, and some Sherlock Holmes games I play, this game managed to capture my interest about their adaptation about this era. Move on to the next topic, which is the characters starring the protagonist. I think out of Ikemen protagonist, I'm a bit fond of her. I like how they established Kate in the beginning. I think she already have the most realistic view of the world, as in she sees how the world as it is. She will worry well about what good and wrong is, but she is willing to take time to understand why certain things have to be happen, as well taking a responsibility if she's proven wrong. I like it because the scene is happening not because that there's a third party or even her love interest to snap her out. She is very well aware about her surrounding, and I really hope her personality doesn't change when I go too deeper into the story. Anyway, I know it's a very strong word for early impression, that's why I cannot wait to see her more in action. Moving on to the boys, let me address the elephant on this room. Yes, I am well aware that the character premise in the, this game about antagonists from fairy tale now is a hot guys in Josimuke Media isn't a new at all. But I don't think it was fair for us to compare them, especially if we can see the developer trying their best to give us fresh idea with this premise. Anyway, I must say they have a very good design. I can see half the character design, mainly color is heavily inspired by some popular deception of the said character in fiction. But some of them is completely original and almost unrecognizable from fairy tale counterpart. I mean, who have thought often say it's the magic mirror? He doesn't look like the mirror at all. <laughs> I know it's a bad trick, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Moving on to the next topic, I can see in the first glance, this boy filling each archetype despite all of them is labeled as a bad boy. Such as Alphonse is mysterious and playful one, Roger is a stoic one, Albert is a quiet one, Alice is quiet one that turned out to be protective Yandere, Jude is a jerk with heart of gold one, Victoria is a dad, I mean adult here, Harrison is a taunting one, and Liam is... He look normal one. And lastly, I think William Tire And lastly, I think William Rex is only completely textbook of a bad boy, which I am not surprised because he is the poster boy in this game and look at his look. I mean like he is perfect, right? Speaking of William, I want to talk a bit about his story in here. Well, I must admit he is a charming little fellow. At first glance, we knew that he is that arrogant Oresama character, part-time smooth talker, the, but the more we know about him, the more we learn the other side of him. As we expected from Queen of Heart personification, he is very familiar with arts and elegance. He is a talented piano player and become a pattern of local theater. He also seems to care about the quality of people by creating a tea party where everyone can join regardless of their status. 
Even so, his other side that willing to cross any boundaries to gain what he want or fulfill crown mission surely will make everybody question about his sincerity on all good deeds he's done. But that is his main charm on his history and his qualification to be branded as villain. If you asking me, he reminded me with Albert Moriarty from Moriarty the Patriot, but unlike him, he doesn't spook me at all. Maybe because his natural ability to charm people and condition himself. But I know this is just impression, so probably I'm gonna change my opinion about him if I know about him deeper. To warp things up, Ikemen Villain is a charming little game. If you like story about fairy tale theme in general with modern twists, or just like being corrupted by Flynn, I think you need to try this. I have no opinion about the gameplay though, because this game gameplay have no different from other Ikemen series. Like nothing changed. There's intimacy let's fill, dress up mini games, etc. So please do not expect anything about it when playing this. Just sit, relax, and have fun spending time with your boy of your choice. I hope this first impression is useful or at least entertaining. Thank you for watching and please consider to subscribe, like, or support me through coffee. My art commission is always available if you need one. Once again, thank you very much and see you guys later. Bye!